Did you know there's an underground nuclear bunker beneath Birmingham? In the event of a nuclear attack on Birmingham, it's estimated that the majority of the city centre would practically be erased, leaving a 300 metre wide by 200 metre deep crater with the buildings flattened from Digbeth to the Jewelry Quarter, and that's before the radiation kicks in. It was this fear built up during tensions of the Cold War that prompted the project's creation. The Anchor Telephone Exchange began construction in 1953 and opened in September 1957 at a cost of £4 million. The public was told that the project was to provide the city with a new underground rail network, but in 1956 the project was said to be no longer needed due to costs, but the true purpose of the project was kept quiet by the government for 15 years. Its network of tunnels extended from at least the Jewelry Quarter to Southside, though it's never been disclosed as to how far the network actually spans. Taking its name from Birmingham's jewellery hallmark, the Anchor Telephone Exchange formed part of the vital zone switching centres that made up the UK telephone system. To this day, BT used the tunnels to run communication links beneath the city. There was an entrance at the rear of the telephone exchange between Lionel Street and Fleet Street, where there was a strict security check upon entering. This entrance had heavy blast doors weighing about two tonnes. Another entrance was on Newell Street. The idea was that the Anchor Telephone Exchange would be used as a shelter for the West Midlands Emergency Regional Government. But despite the huge sprawl of tunnels, it was actually only designed to be used by 20 people. Upon entering the bunker, you'd go down a long metal staircase, descending deeper and deeper into the network. You'd be surrounded by huge concrete tunnels that housed three massive generators, one of which could power the shelter for three months. As well as that, other facilities were there to provide power, fresh air and water, as well as a canteen and even a fully stocked games room, all you need to survive the apocalypse. Almost completely shut off from the outside world, the bunker, luckily, wasn't needed. And it's a good job too, because by the time everything was finished in 1957, nuclear weapons had advanced to such a point that a rogue atomic bomb would have probably taken no notice at the bunker's defences. In the absence of nuclear war, the bunker remained dormant since 1984, with rations and supplies ready to go, but never used. The tunnels remain open, being home to the communication lines which connect our city. The asbestos is said to be gone though, so look on the bright side. The Anchor Telephone Exchange remains a scary sign of the times when nuclear holocaust was a daily concern. Its vast expanse of tunnels still lay silent beneath our feet to this day. Let's just hope that we never have to use them for their intended purpose.